talking about, you know, moments. That Tony Torres fight <clears throat> was on the border, right? Was was that yeah. Laredo? Yeah. And, and Tito was there, John Lober. Right. Yeah, John. That was an interesting night. I'm sure Jeff told you about all, like, you know, there was like, they're like, there was a pro wrestler that was fighting Rinkin that ended up choking Rinkin with his wristband. I mean, it was like the most blatant <laughs> thing I've ever seen. He, the dude just grabs his wristband, stretches it out, wraps it around Rinkin's neck twice, and he's just choking the piss out of him. I mean, like, this was a crazy event, man. Yeah, no, it, it, it definitely. I, I, I remember a story about you in a shiny shirt that, you know, I don't know how much you want to share, but, uh, yeah, Lober, Tito, you're talking about bad boys from the early days and stuff. And he did have access, like Aaron, because being mentored by Jeff and later on, you know, me helping out, he always was a guy like that had access to a lot of, you know, Lober was a guy with historic fights, man. You know, yeah. Absolutely, so oh, yeah. Totally. He was the first guy to beat Frank Shamrock. Yeah. And when he yeah. gets his leg snapped in the pancreas ring, like, and like, his, the Japanese guy snaps his leg and he's looking at the ref with the guy's leg broken and Lober wants to continue? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> the, guy's a, the guy's a classic. <laughs> and, and, and a real dude. Anyway, go, John. Uh, Mike. Mike. <laughs> 